Hello, I am here with Tim from Woe Nows. Hello. Yo. Congratulations on the album, Thanks. understanding and everything else. How do you feel now it's out? Um, relieved, I guess, yeah. or so much relieved. I don't know, it's just the classic, like we recorded it in January. And before that, we demoed like Last all the January songs. Or this, the, the January this, just gone. So yeah, I feel so, like January's like just gone, but it's actually yeah. May, well, it, so. yeah, that's it. And it, it doesn't feel long ago, but it does feel like a long time when you sat on it and you think, yeah, like oh, can can this just be out now? Like yeah, if people yeah. still listen to all that old stuff, like just just listen to this. It's better. But <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice to be out and like people are saying nice things and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I don't really, we don't really do reviews on the site, but yep. if I did, I'd give it, you know, a solid eight. Cool. Out of eight. Cool. Eight out of eight. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I said eight, and then I was like, that just, like, that you can't say someone. Good. Yeah, right, it is good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it is good, but I feel like if I release an album, I'd be like, if it's not ten, I don't want to I'm aiming for eleven all me. the time. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's quite exciting music. Cool. Does it ever get exhausting playing it? Uh... Yeah, n yeah, no, but like it should be, yeah. surely. Like that's the point. Like if I was sat and it just looks easy, then like that's boring. Yeah. I don't know. Like and that's our way, as people like a lot of it are right and are like write a nice chord thing or whatever, and it's like cool. Yeah, like that's all right. And then as soon as we play it together, it just turns into <laughs> a bit like that because it's just like our way. We've always been like that, like a bit early all the time and yeah. stuff. And it's just can't fight it too much. It's kind of a whirlwind of an album. Like I put it on and then before I knew it, it was over. I was like, shit, like that was great. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, well like, I don't want people to be bored. No. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if you want to listen to it again, then that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's still, <laughs> the rest is there. Like, but yeah, I don't, don't like to hang around on the same thing for too long. So it was released on Big Scary Monsters. Mm -hmm. They're kind of at the heart of like a lot of great things in the UK and a lot of American yeah. stuff as well. I mean, yeah. how does it feel to be like kind of part of that scene? I mean, you're, you're yeah, it's just label. awesome. Yeah, like um, it's just nice to see your name with bands that you like. Yeah. You know, that's the important thing. And I followed the label for quite a while. Mm. Like, um, just would check out bands that were on that label because they were normally cool. And yeah. Um, so yeah, it's nice to like get the thumbs up and be approved. Yeah. By it's them. one of those labels you can trust yeah. to release good stuff. Totally. Yeah. 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 Um, so this is your first first show in Manchester for a while? For a little while, yeah, yeah it what, is. What took you so long? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what are you, recorded an album? Recorded no an excuse. Album. Yeah, that was that. The last show we played in Manchester was the worst show I've ever played really? in terms of my own yeah. self. Like, it was just really dark in the whiskey jar. Oh, yeah. <coughs> you played a show in the whiskey jar? Yeah. That's quite It was um, the Carefully Planned Festival. Right. Um, and... It was just really dark and everything went wrong. Right. So I couldn't see what I was doing. Then I broke a string, <laughs> then I broke something else and I nearly f like stacked it over the drum kit. And like, normally <laughs> I don't think about anything I'm doing when I play. It's just like, I'll oh, just let it do it. You know, muscle memory and stuff. Muscle memory and stuff. <laughs> and then, uh, and um, yeah, I had to think about what I was doing and I realized yeah. I can't do it. I just can't play Shit. if I'm thinking about what I'm doing. So yeah. Oh, Hopefully it'll be better tonight. Oh, I'm going to be awesome tonight. Is it good to be touring with Beach Slang? Yeah. You're kind of excited like, about it. I, I don't want to like be cheeking it like, cause it was one of those, um, I think they had just had it booked and it was a case of like, um, I just looked and it was just like, we, I was booking a tour like that. I was sat there and I was like, probably know every promoter putting that on. I just sent out a message and this was on all the shows. Nice. So it wasn't like they approved us. Oh, right. They might hate yeah. us. So. <laughs> I don't think they do. They seem nice guys. They seem like they wouldn't hate anyone. Hopefully. I yeah. haven't spoke to him yet. Yeah. I am going to do an interview with him. So if you yeah, haven't right. seen that interview yet, go check it out. So it'll definitely be out now. It'll be out now. Yeah. It's probably better than this one. This is all right. Yeah? Yeah. Doing okay? It's definitely not the worst okay. interview I've done. You guys are from Plymouth? Yep, we're from Plymouth. I must confess, all I know about Plymouth is they have a team called Plymouth Argyle that play in green, and they it's do. on the south coast. It is. Yeah. Has it got a good music scene? Yeah. Is it a good place to live? Yeah, it's all right. It's cool. It's near the sea. Um, there are good bands and stuff, um, and it's, it's all right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's is it like the Brighton of the southeast? It's not as cool as Brighton. It's the southwest, but yeah, it's like... Southwest, sorry, well, yes. I could have just left you on that. It wouldn't have mattered. I know. But, um, well... <laughs> But yeah, I, no, it's, it's, I don't know, we're a long way down. We're on our own yeah. down there, which is cool because a lot of the bands just don't get involved in like 
kind of what's cool now and just pay attention to being good and writing stuff that they think is cool for, yeah. because they like it which means there's some really interesting bands um, that don't just follow any fucking trend that comes yeah, along yeah. but at the same time like no bands come down and when you do book bands like people don't always show up yeah. like I don't know like it's it's a bit of a tricky one yeah